Negative numbers are tricky um, at when, you know, when you first start learning them, uh, but the idea is that if you practice them again and again, you think about what they represent, uh, after a while, it will get easier. Okay, So we've got this number 48 plus negative 16. So adding a negative means you're adding debt, right? That It's kind of a weird way of thinking about it, but it means you're, you're, the money in your bank account should be going down. So 48 plus negative 16, that's the same thing as saying 48 minus 16. This means your account goes down by $6, $16. This means your account goes down by $16. So that's an easier way of thinking of that problem. Now here, uh, and just I should have emphasized this right at the beginning, read it left to right. Negative 5 subtracted by 4. We start off $5 in debt. We're subtracting $4. That means we're going down $4. So we should be going further back in debt, right? Negative 1 is not the correct answer here. Negative 9 is the right answer because you start on negative 5. Subtracting 4 means you go back another $4. So negative 5, here, here's another way of looking at that too. Here is roughly where negative 5 would be. If you subtract 4, subtracting moves you 4 places to the left. So this is negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9 is where we end up. When you add numbers, you go to the right on the number line. When you subtract numbers, you go to the left on the number line. Okay. So here we got 8 minus a negative 4, so you're subtracting debt. That means you're actually increasing the amount of money you have. And then 48 subtracted by 87. Now I know my answer is going to be negative. Because I have $48, I'm trying to take away $87. So I'm not going to have enough money in the hole after that. So once I've decided that it's negative, let's see what the difference is between these two numbers. How far apart are they? And if you do the subtraction like we did uh, previously, we get negative 39. And you can check yourself with the calculator too. 48 subtracted by 87, that makes negative 39. I uh, got one more here. Negative uh, 45 subtracted by negative 54. Well, uh, you're $45 in debt, and then you take away more debt, right? So that means we should actually be increasing the account. And for this one, I know my answer is going to be positive because I start with $45, but I'm adding $54. So I should be going up. So what we want to know is what's the difference between these two numbers? So if you take 54 subtracted by 45, you get 9. So that's the difference between those two numbers. And visualize it again on a number line here. Get out of here. Move out of the way. There we go. Negative 45 is here. If you add 54 to it, that means you need to go 54 spaces to the right. So it's going to put us a little bit over the zero mark. Okay. If you count out all those digits, <laughs> that's a lot of counting to move it 54 little spaces. But if you were to do that, you'd hit 9. 